Let's talk about some of the off-duty stars of this year's China National Day, both human and non-human. October 1st was China's National Day. On this very day, China's Tianwen-2 probe, en route through space, took a break to send home a photo. The picture shows the Chinese flag, the white return capsule, and Earth in the background, a memento of its 125 days in orbit. Tianwen-2 is on course to exploit asteroid 2016 HO3 and main belt comet 311P. On National Day, it was 43 million kilometers from Earth and 45 million kilometers from its first target asteroid. Back on Earth, Chinese travelers were also on the move. In just the first five days of the holiday, China's railway carried over 100 million passengers. Government cafeterias that chose to open during the National Day holiday became an unexpected stop on tourist sightseeing routes. For example, a government canteen in Rongchang District, Chongqing, witnessed an influx of 2,700 tourists, who together consumed a total of 275 kg of rice and 125 kg of stewed goose. One visitor said three of them ordered nine dishes in total, costing only 58 yuan. That's about eight US dollars. Other cities also opened government cafeterias, offered free parking or free bus rides, all to win travelers' hearts. In Nanchang, Jiangxi province, a policeman spent his day taking photos for tourists at Baiyi Square, where he was stationed. Because his post was relatively elevated and offered a good vantage point, thousands of visitors have asked him to take their pictures. Online, someone compared him to a mother bird feeding chicks, and a picture went viral with tens of thousands of likes. Not everything was cheerful. Two young tourists in their 20s were harshly criticized nationwide for carving their names into the Great Wall at Sima Tai. Even when other visitors tried to intervene, they continued, and the police later detained and fined them.